In the stank old rat-infested garage, two filthy hippies named Chris and Eric were deeply engrossed in a cloud of hazy, wacky tobacco smoke and picking their noses while their companion, a Jim Beam and Coke aficionado named Lucky, was keeping a bloodshot eye on their endeavors and laughing like a madman and slopping booze around. Their shenanigans, dancing on the razor's edge of electrical safety, they decided to dial their friendly neighborhood mad scientist, Shaziz Man, for some counsel. Shaziz Man, ever the voice of reason warned, do not learn electrical safety by accident, you goofballs. Nevertheless, our trio, akin to the famous Three Stooges, chose to ignore the sage advice. Before they knew it, a bolt of lightning zapped across the room, electrocuting each one and plunging a 50-mile radius into darkness and blowing transformers off power poles, smashing and igniting cars on fire. Their hair smoldered, their laughter echoed, and they began to phase in and out of this dimension, teleporting from their garage to a madhouse and back again. Each time Chris would fart, suddenly, Lucky stepped on the foot pedal, illuminating Eric like a strobe like flashing bright in the darkness like an X-ray, his teeth popping out like popcorn. And then, as if the situation wasn't already electrifying enough, a spark ignited the methane cloud caused by Chris's ill-timed flatulence. Everyone for mile were heaving up their guts from the stench. The resulting explosion took down half of the garage, inciting a flurry of activity from the local fire department and law enforcement. However, the party had to end sometime. When the authorities received a surge of 911 calls from the terrified public, they sent in everyone from the SWAT team to the Nation Guard and even the Boy Scouts to put an end to the madness. It was total chaos. Yet all was not lost. Shaziz Man, the hero of our tale, returned from the future to save the day. He teleported the trio back in time where they would have to wait for the discovery of electricity and he advised them to stay out of jail. For his bravery, Shaziz Man was awarded the highest medal of honor. As he sped off into the sunset in his hydrogen-powered supercar, he left behind a valuable lesson. Alcohol and wacky tobacco do not mix with high-voltage electricity. Left behind in the Wild West, Lucky, Eric, and Chris found new occupations as sheep herders and fur traders, as well as circus clowns. As they settled into their new lives, one can only hope they learn their lesson and can stay out of jail. In the local saloon, as another barroom brawl breaks out, Chris asks Eric for another hit off the bong as Eric is falling out of his chair and while Lucky chugs another bottle of old-time whiskey. There is no cure for stupid, but rest assured, their adventures are far from over, seeing how they are down to seven brain cells combined after all the tomfoolery. Stay tuned for updates on these knuckleheads.